I'm going to go over the multivariate normal distribution. Um, so the multi, so this is going to be uh, the first tutorial, and hopefully um, many others are kind of going over um, clustering algorithms. Um, so what I want to go over is the multivariate normal distribution. So the multivariate normal distribution is descri described by probability of x given uh, these parameters mu and sigma, and then you got sort of this kind of long formula right here. Um, mu is in a uh, k space and then sigma is in k by k space and this is the covariance matrix and then you can also just recall that the covariance is given by this so if you have an x and y covariance is just the x minus its expected value y minus expected value all over n minus one so let's get into this so i want to create a class ultimately that um, basically given a data set x will predict this mu and sigma and then from there it'll um, given any other x, I can predict the probability. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import NumPy, and then import matplotlib. So the first thing I'm going to do, like as always, I'm just going to kind of generate a toy data set. So I'm going to say uh, x is equal to numpy.random.normal, let's say, sorry, multivariate normal. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give these just uh, centers of 0, 0. So this will be our mu. And then our sigma here. I'm going to give them a variance of 1 for x1. A uh, covariance between the two of 0 0.5. And then uh, 0 0.5 again. And then 1 for x2. And then I want to give, uh, let's start with 100 data points. So let's see, we have x. And as you can see, looks like we got what we expected, 100 by 2. So let's get started on this class here. Uh, so I'm going to call this multivariate normal. And then on the initialization here, uh, we don't actually have any parameters in the init, but I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, give my uh, mu not mu, just set it to none, and then also set the uh, sigma to none. Now let's define our fit method. And then we need to pass this some data x. So here on the first thing we need to do is we need to get the uh, mu. So the mu is just going to be uh, the uh, basically the means. So we'll say um, self dot u under var. And actually the first thing I want to do is I want to check um, Ultimately, what I'm going to need to do is um, these are right here will make more sense if these are passed in by uh, column vectors. And so actually, I want to uh, recast this x as a basically n number of column vectors. So I'm going to say if x dot n, if x dot dim is equal to 2, Actually, we'll do this. We'll set x is equal to x comma new axes if x dot dim equal to two else x. Okay, we have that. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, sort of make sure, whoops, this needs to be a plus. Let's make sure that little line of code works. So I'm going to say my model is a multivariate normal. And then let's go uh, and fit it to our x. And we get an error. That is no dimension dim. So let's see, x dot n dim. That's what we're looking for. n dim. So there we go, we get that. So that should be good. Uh, so let's see, now we want to set our self dot mu underbar. We're gonna set this equal to x dot mean along the zeroth axes. So let's do that again. Okay, that works. And then let's just check our mu, it should be roughly zero. And uh, whoops, did we not do that along the correct axis there? 
looks like we did not. Oh, we were supposed to do that on the first axis since I just created that, bro, rebroadcasted that. Oh, actually, let me see here. Actually, this is, apologize, this should actually be, uh, to make this uh, a bunch of column vectors, this section needs to be added on the uh, last axis there. And so this should be, in fact, the zeroth axis. And there we go. We get uh, two, uh, uh, a column vector that's approximately equal to zero, as we would expect. All right, so now to get the uh, covariance. So what I'm going to do here is now I need to uh, subtract my x from mu. So I will do uh, x minus self dot u. And actually, what I'm going to do is do a uh, numpy dot find sum. I'm going to do the uh, ijk, so that's going to be x minus mu. And the second one will be i, but instead of j and k, I want these to be uh, inverted, so k and j. And we want this to go to a, uh, a j by k. And let's pass that in, so x minus self dot u underbar. And then pass it in again, self dot u underbar, and this should hopefully give us our uh, our covariance matrix. So self dot sig underbar is equal. And if all goes correct here, the last thing we need to do is divide by n minus one. So let's do that. Let's do uh, x dot shape along the zeroth axes, and then subtract one. And if all goes well, this should hopefully fit sigma to our toy data set. So we get 0.74. Uh, so let's see, let's actually make a few more numbers. Let's make this 10,000. And there we go. We see it approaches 1, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, as we would expect. Let's get rid of that and make those there. So there we go. So now we've properly fitted our model. So next thing we want to do is we want to get the probabilities of it. And so as always, we'll pass self and then we want it to pass in some data X. So now we need to implement this formula right here. So now that we do have our mu and our sigma, we can get the probability of X. So I'm going to divide this up and I'm just going to call this portion right here factor one and then this portion right here, factor two, just to kind of clean up this uh, function right here. So we'll do factor one will be equal to two by pi up to the minus self dot mu underbar, uh, oops, dot shape. And we want this to be along the uh, first axes because our mu mod dot mu dot shape is a two by one so that should actually be our zeroth axis since it's a a k column vector k will be two in this case and then we'll divide that by two and then we need to multiply it by the determinant of our self dot sigma and then multiply that to the minus half power so there's our first factor and now we need to implement the second factor so here we need the exponential a minus half and then we need to uh, implement this portion right here and the easiest uh, way to probably do this is again use this ein sum function so we'll say numpy dot einsum, and we want the uh, first one, this x minus u, we're going to make that ijk like last time. Uh, the sigma right here, we want to multiply that uh, by this, uh, by the j, since this is inverted right here, we're going to multiply that by the j, and then I'm going to give another axis called l, and on this last one, I want to call this one i, l, and... Um, K. 
so that on this one we'll multiply the ax this axis by this axis of uh, of our second one. And then from that, we want to go ahead and uh, again we'll just keep it as a column uh, i number of column vectors. Uh, so we'll just say i by k, or each or I guess a one by a one by one column vector and number of one by one column vectors. We'll just keep it in that format. So now we'll pass in our x minus self dot u under bar. Uh, then we need to take the inverse dot inverse of our sigma self dot sig under bar. So there's that. And then again, we need to pass in x minus self dot u under bar. And then if this all works out correctly, hopefully this will work for us. Factor one by factor two. So let's try that. So let's see mod dot prob and let's pass in x and we get an error. 100 operands cannot be broadcast together shape 100 by 2. So there's something here on this factor. Uh, so it's probably on this ein sum. So let's go and see if we can kind of troubleshoot this here. So let's see x minus mod dot u under bar. Those cannot be broadcast together. Oh, that's because I forgot to do this here. I need to rebroadcast it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this here real quick. And really, we should refactor this since uh, we're repeating this twice. So I'm just going to call a static method here. Method. Uh, we'll just call this uh, uh, redim dx. Pass it a uh, x. And let's just go and yank this guy out here. And so here we can say x is equal to redim x. And then again, yank this out here, put him here. Delete this guy. Now let's see. That should hopefully. That should hopefully work out for us. Redim is not. Oh, redim x. X and then right here same thing x. Let's see. Name redim x is not defined. Because it's not in the correct space, so we need to do self dot redim x self dot redim x. So there we go. So let's try this here. One hundred by two and two by one cannot be broadcast together. All right. So let's see. What did we do here? mod dot u under bar so that's the correct form that we want oops and as you can see it looks like our function is doing something so these appear to be probabilities uh they're between zero and one so uh, let's go and see if we can kind of kind of plot how well our function does. So um, I'm going to create a uh, mesh grid to kind of plot these probabilities over. So I want to do a one space. Uh, we'll go from minus three to three. Let's do about a hundred times, and then we want to uh, repeat this twice. along the zeroth axes and then pass this into a mesh grid and it looks like we need to unpack this along these zeroth axes and there we go we get two and then let's make this into an array actually so 
for plotting purposes, we'll want to unpack these into an x, x and x, y. But in order to pass this into my function, I need a, I can't really pass this in as two 100 by 100 uh, matrices. So let's see if we can reorganize these guys. That works there. And then we need to, let's see the shape of this guy is two by 100 by 100. And I want the two to be uh, along uh, the uh, the last dimension here. So we'll say transpose. Transpose this guy. We want this to be one, two, zero. So that should get us the shape we want. And then if we reshape this guy to minus one by two by one we get the form that we need so that looks like that's going to work out for us and we'll say this is x new now let's get our probabilities is equal to mod dot prob of x new so we got those now the probs here are going to be of the wrong shape so in order to pass this back into this contour, I'm going to need to reshape this guy to be 100 by 100, like the xx and xy. So now we should be able to uh, plot the contour of this. xx, xy, we've got our probabilities. Let's see, hopefully this plots something here. Looks like we got something that's kind of Gaussian distribution looking. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go, we can see it a little bit better. Uh, let's give it some labels on the, uh, the lines here so we can kind of see some values. Awesome, we got some labels. And then now for the final test, let's just kind of uh, make a scatter plot of our original data that we had here. Uh, so star X, and that should hopefully make a scatter, whoops. Transpose star that should hopefully scatter our data points. So there's our 100 original data points that we uh, fitted to our Gaussian distribution, and uh, appears like it looks like a pretty good fit to me. Um, so I think we've hopefully successfully implemented this. Uh, if you like the video, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, if there's something uh, you had a question about or something that doesn't look right, uh, just let me know. Uh, thank you. Bye.